Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to another Codeaven video. Now, get ready for literally the easiest tutorial you have ever seen in your life. So, here we go. You want to add C Sharp library to Visual Studio, right? So, first of all, obviously, you need to have Visual Studio installed. So, uh, in our case, we do, of course. So, um, let's go ahead, and you're not going to open that. You need to make sure you have it closed because you're going to be editing the files in Visual Studio, right? And it, even if you had it open and you decide to install it, it's going to end up saying that you need to restart anyways. So the first thing that you're going to do is just type in Visual Studio and then look for Visual Studio Installer. So go ahead and edit or open that up and click Yes to make changes to your device. All right, so on initial load, it's going to go ahead and open up this nice window here. And here is the version that I'm running. I have the Visual Studio Community 2019 version. Um, I believe that's the newest version of Community that they have available. But regardless, um, whatever version you have, you're going to have a couple options here. You're going to have a modify, a launch, and a more button. We don't really need to worry about the, the more button for now. What you want to do is actually uh, modify it, right? So you have this installed tab, and then you have the available tab. Now, you don't have to worry about these because these are entirely different versions of Visual Studio, and these require licenses to have. The Community one is the free one, and that's the one that I have. So in order to install C Sharp, we're going to go ahead and click Modify. And once you have clicked Modify, you're going to see a bunch of stuff in here, uh, like ASP.NET, Python, you know, a bunch of other languages, and some cool stuff down here. You could do Linux and Office and SharePoint development. But this entire tutorial is all about C Sharp. So let's go ahead, and we're going to click uh, .NET Desktop Development. And that is what we want. And also, if you want, you could also install the Universal Windows Platform Development. That also includes C Sharp. And the reason that we might include this is because it has, uh, you know, some extra packages, some other stuff um, that just this .NET one doesn't have. So we're going to go ahead and just select those two and go ahead and click Modify. All right, so once you've clicked that, your download's going to start. And after your download is started, it's going to start installing it and editing your Visual Studio. Now, that is literally all that you need to do. Once this is done, your Visual Studio will be modified. You will have C Sharp installed, and that is all. And that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up or comment down below for your thoughts or suggestions for the next video. And with that being said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.